Okay, now this is secured T25 Torx with an 8 millimeter nut. And it has to be repeated on the other side. There's two holes to confuse you, but the four holes line up. This is the main part. Your four screws, four bolts and nuts. And we'll go ahead and assemble that one next. Since there's nothing to grip on here with the bolts, they created this little ledge, which works out pretty well. And then it will go through the two. I can't do it one-handed, so I'm gonna put this down and show you what's going on. All right, so this is threaded up here. Uh, pretty easy to clip that in. Uh, this is my guess on this little rubber stopper where that would go. So these two will mount on this side. It'll do the same on that side. And you can't put your freedom tops on, obviously. Um, but this will be on for a good part of the year, so I'm not too worried about taking it on and off. So we'll see. I'll do a review after I drive around. All right. For the hardware that needs to be screwed into the front no drill bracket, you can use your Jeep kit and the T50 will fit the smaller and I think this is a 40 and that will fit the longer uh, bolts here. So use your Jeep kit for those and uh, we'll see how it goes okay they recommend attaching the snaps before screwing it into the windshield so this is the way that it seems to go so that these stay out these brackets stay out slide it down in so these brackets stay out we'll see how that goes all right you have a very important bracket long bolt, push this under in a little bit, force it'll hold it in place, and it screws into the only mount that's actually in the no screw bracket. All right. plastic piece is loose you do not have the L piece mounted correctly and the L piece is notably loose as well so it can be tight appears tight but it'll be a big rattle and it's not actually holding it down very well other than a little piece of plastic okay. all right one little trick is if you tighten the short bolt first it may put this off and that was that rattle the rattle could not get that friction lock in there because it was slightly off. So do the first uh, bolt, the long one first, and then you can do the short one and tighten that up. Fifty miles an hour. It's holding pretty strong. I don't have any doubts that it would hold at higher speeds. So it'll, it's going to do a good job for me keeping the sun out and the occasional monsoon rains. There's only one issue I've come across so far is 
these little straps, if the wind's blowing, they'll actually hang between the window and be pulled out a little bit. So you can actually have a little bit of a issue if it gets pulled into the window and the window won't close all the way, then you have more noise. But overall, they hang low, so they shouldn't have an issue getting caught. All right, so we talked about two bolts here, two bolts on the other side that are in and tightened to the no drill bar, holds the bikini top on. Now there are eight button screws that are, you must remove the Jeep screw with a T25 and put in this button screw so that you can attach and tighten. I actually thought this would be Velcro, um, but they work fine as a button. And you have two, three. This is the long strap. There are six shorts and eight long. So it actually wraps around and goes on the inside right here. And that would come off. Now, just make sure that it doesn't catch in your seat belt because this is how they want it. They want it wrapped around that bar because this is the most needed for tension. Same on this side, wrap around. The only weird thing is this gap. But it is what it is. It actually is pretty streamlined, so I didn't hear much noise from it hitting the top here. It's not going to be quiet, but it is a good, good shade top. Much better than Alien. Alien had too much sun coming in in Arizona. This will give you 100% coverage from the sun and rain, so I'm happy about that. So the instructions here explain that you take off the factory screw and put in put in the button screw. Um, it is a T25 that you'll need to get out the factory screw and then it's just a Phillips to put in the button screw. The top instructions actually have the windshield header channel uh, instructions much better than the instructions that came with the windshield channel. So here's a uh, good diagram of the long bolt that goes in and the very important piece do not lose that there's the short screw and as I said do the short screw second it'll help align 